Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Let's pray from Proverbs 28 verse 18. The Bible is focusing on those who walk uprightly. He says, those who walk uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. If you read it from NLT, it says, the blameless will be rescued from harm, but the crooked will be suddenly destroyed. Don't you want to walk uprightly so that you'll be rescued from all harm. Let's ask for the grace to do that. Dear Lord, we thank you for another wonderful day of being alive as your children, Lord. I ask for the grace to function uprightly. Let it be released upon all of us today in the name of Jesus. For your word declares in John 15, Lord, that without you, we can do nothing. And so we assess that grace to walk and live uprightly today. And we know in accordance to your word, we'll be delivered from all harm. In Jesus' name, amen. Great. So there are so many questions coming in. Remember in the month of October, we are dealing with the questions from our listeners. Something you studied in the Bible you don't quite understand or something in your work with God. I decided to dedicate this month just to be able to respond to those questions and burdens in your heart to be able to bring some sort of clarity. So loads and loads and loads and loads of emails are coming in. And so what I've done is to respond to the emails. Each person that has sent an email to questions at mentorsmoments.com has received an answer but the questions that are numerous where a lot of people are asking the same question i'm going to treat that at the devotional but when i noted that the questions that are asked by one or two people i'll just respond to you so if you've sent an email you must have gotten a response by now if you've not gotten a response what it just simply means is that i'm going to deal with it on the platform generally so that you know a lot of people can get answers because so many people seem to be asking that same question so today i'm going to be addressing the issue of women dressing a lot of questions maybe maybe about 50 percent of questions came in along these lines and so people are asking questions around women including should women wear trousers should women wear makeup should they wear jewelry should women wear hair extensions so many questions so let's go to the scripture one of the things you have to understand first of all is that in the matter of clothing or jewelry there are actually guidelines that appear to all believers whether they are men or or women. The very first principle of clothing or appearance is the word modesty or decency. This is the platform that is driving everything concerning dressing. If we take a look at First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9, I read it from the New Living Translation. It says, I want women to be modest in their appearance. They should wear decent and appropriate clothing and not draw attention to themselves by the way they fix their hair or by wearing of gold or pearls or expensive clothes. For women who claim to be devoted to God should make themselves attractive by the good things they do. Before I comment on that verse, let's read the follow-up verse in 1 Peter 3, 3-4. It says, don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or beautiful clothes. You should clothe yourselves instead with the beauty that comes from within, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. Now, from this, it's pretty clear what God wants us to do. God wants you modest in your appearance. The Bible says as a woman that is devoted to God, he is not complaining about your jewelry, but he does complain when it is ostentatious, it is loud, and you know, it's super expensive. That's what the Bible is saying. He said, don't concentrate on doing those things. But did you notice he didn't condemn them? He said, be modest, tone down. Don't try to attract attention to yourself. You can't say you're a Christian and you're wearing tight clothes clothes that expose your body, expose different parts, you know, your cleavage is out there, your body structure is all out there, you know, you will not get the approval of God. The Bible says for women who are devoted to God should make themselves attractive by the good things they do. So the Bible is saying that, you know what a lot of women do, they think that they are more beautiful, the more expensive their clothes are, the more loud their jewelry is, that's, you know, how beautiful they are. But the Bible is saying no concentrate on the beauty that is within. We spend so much time developing the outward beauty. Do we pay attention to the inner beauty of a meek and quiet spirit, of godliness, of good works and all of that? He said, pay attention to those things. I've noticed 
as you get closer to God, there are just some things you can't wear. Nobody will tell you. Your work with God just appalls certain things. You know, you're just not able to follow the trend or the fashion that is going on and all of that. You just wear things that are really nice, but then they don't attract attention to you. So you're not showing off your body and all of that. You know, the trend now is women are half naked all the time. And even Christians are following that trend, you know, but you can't truly have a walk with God and be comfortable when you're wearing short skirts, your backside is showing the front, the arms and all of that. No, there is something wrong. You can't really be deep with God and you're wearing those things and exposing your body parts and in your cousin sensuality and all of that among the people that are around you and still feel comfortable. No, there is a problem. There is an enormous social pressure for people to conform to the trends and all of that. And you really have to know your work with God to be able to stand and wear things that are nice, things that are decent and all of that but they don't have to expose your body they don't have to be loud and all of that now i want us to deal with the issue of wearing of trousers of women what does the bible have to say about that should women wear trousers or not now let's go to the scripture it is very important and everything you are doing you find the answer in the scripture not from your head not your thoughts not what you think not what anybody has said but what does the word of god say on a matter because it is the word of god that judge us on the last day and that's why we need to be careful about following everything according to scripture so now the only place people usually refer to when they are dealing with trousers and women is Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 i read it from the new living translation it says a woman must not put on men's clothing and a man must not wear women's clothing anyone who does this is detestable in the sight of the lord your god king james version is saying the woman shall not wear what pertains to a man neither shall a man put on women's garment for all that do that is an abomination unto the lord i noticed they didn't mention trousers here the bible says a man don't wear what pertains to a woman the bible is dealing here with cross dressing there are men that will go and dress like women and vice versa and you see it happening in fact one of the biggest trends now you have lots and lots of cross dressers the bible didn't mention trousers for women or vice versa now if the bible was talking about women wearing trousers then what it means is that all the irish people or the scottish people will go to hellfire because part of their traditional dressing the men wear skirts and what it also means is that Jesus is in trouble because Jesus' natural clothing at that time was a robe. You know, the robes that women wear. What it means that everybody that is from a particular tribe in Nigeria, the Robo tribe, and I think across River State, they tie wrapper this type of women tie. They are all in trouble. They are all going to hell because what it means is that they are tying rap and all of that. So you see again that that's the only place something like that was mentioned. It wasn't repeated any other place. What God was trying to say is don't do cross dressing. You that you're a man, don't go and cross dress and wear women's clothing and vice versa because in those days they did it a lot. And even today we'll see, see the Bible didn't mention about trousers, but I'm going to put a clause here. Now, when you are even wearing trousers as a woman, you have to be decent. You see a lot of women wearing trousers their whole body is exposed they wear leggings you can see your whole body frame it is indecent it is not proper you cannot be looking like a water spirit and at the same time you are carrying the holy spirit people must look at you and know there is a difference even when you are wearing jewelry even when you do your hair please be decent be modest that is what we are known for when you wear trousers be decent don't wear the ones that are tight and are bringing out your whole frame and all of that and i would even advise if you're going to wear trousers please wear a thumb that covers your backside and all of that so that you appear decent so that you appear modern so that jesus can be proud of you you can't wear tight clothing revealing clothing you know even the blouse is tight and all of that and you are comfortable no there's something wrong with the holy spirit that you have it will reject certain clothing items you just can't cut the holy ghost and wear certain clothing so the bible says stay within the borders of modesty and decency whether you're a man or you're a woman you see some christian men they sag the latest trend they sag their trousers it doesn't even look decent it doesn't even look nice and all of that so if you go to the scripture you will notice that the major thing god is talking about concerning dressing whether you're a man or woman be decent 
be modest let your beauty come from your good works let your beauty come from the things that are within if you're wearing makeup be decent don't be loud and ostentatious people can't even tell the difference between you and a nightclub singer no there must be a difference look clean look neat that is what god wants you to do and you will have no single problem with the lord i've read the scriptures for you if you find any other thing countering this feel free to bring the scripture but i've done a good study on the word of god and you know being able to bring balance to this question of clothing for men or for women i told you the bottom line is modesty decency god has a problem when you are too ostentatious when you are too loud when all your money there are people that all their funds they've invested it in buying shoes and buying clothes and buying expensive jewelry but you will never see that money being invested in the kingdom there's something wrong with the holy ghost that you are carrying all right thank you so much for listening god bless you for other life-changing messages you can now download the app rev or yeek speaks from play store for android phone users or apple store for ios users you can also follow us on instagram youtube and telegram all on the handle or alfred once for all